periodically I get asked to do Celebrity Mastermind and I generally say no because I think I'm a bit thick. Have you ever done it? No. No, See, because yeah. apart from anything else, specialist subject, what would I, what would I choose? Nothing. I don't wouldn't know. You wouldn't you choose opera? I'd love to choose opera, but I don't know, you know, I, I love opera and I love going to opera. But if you were to say, you know, what was the first opera that Benjamin Britten wrote, I'd go, mm, I don't know, was it, was it mm. the Albert Herring one or was it the other one? And you can only swap so much. And the thing is, those sort of things, I read them and they go in and out. Yeah. Tell me that, you know, whereas something else, like, for example, I once met somebody called Randy Katz in America. <laughs> I've never forgotten that. I was in my early 20s and I've never forgotten his name. No, I would never forget. No, you don't. Would you like it? Because you don't have a pet or anything, do you? No, I don't have a pet. I love a pet. Would but you now not? I live in London and I just, I'd feel, I'd feel sorry. I'd love to have a cat, but can you imagine? They'd go after a pigeon and the next thing I'd pay, I'd just go, <laughs> that'd be the last I'd hear of it. No. Yeah, and the dog. Fine. But you see, if you're working at ridiculous hours in the morning and then you, you know, when, when is it going to be? You know, have you ever of... not worked, really, in a ridiculous hour of the morning? Yeah, when I worked at Thames News. Which was and, the... in fact, at Peter Evening Telegraph when but I first worked, and Radio Hong time. Kong. That was a long time ago, but yeah. you did Radio Hong Kong. Hmm. That was, yeah, that, that, was that was in the middle of the big two-and-a-half-year backpack after the newspaper. <sighs> after okay. the newspaper. Yes. Left the newspaper, travelled in Central and South America for a year, then went to Hong Kong, worked there for eight months, and then travelled for another year. Would you... Advise that to anybody. Yes, you know, I would. I would say it was one out. of the best. Well, I'd say it was one of the best things I'd, I've ever done. On the other hand, I would also say it made meant that obviously I was two and a half years behind in a career. So, <laughs> so anyway, so back to getting up early because you are really good because you have yeah. you have done early mornings. I mean, I know we did early morning. When we did early mornings, you'd already done early mornings for a big chunk of time. I did four and a half, I think, at Sky, yeah. and then I did 16, 15, 16 years at GMTV, and now wow. I'm still getting up early. And the thing is, I discovered early on at Sky, after a year of getting up early and going to bed at 7 o'clock at night, I just thought, I can't do this. I'm having no life at all, and at weekends it was dreadful because I was just falling over tired on Saturday evening. So I decided I would work out a different way and I tried various other ways and I gave myself three months doing it so for example I slept all day and then I got up at 10 o'clock in the evening and then because I had to get be there for four at, at Sky and that didn't work and then eventually I discovered that if I didn't drink coffee or tea I eat dairy because that sort of something makes I'm, I'm quite a snuffly sort of character oh I loved that book when I was a kid Snuffles Snuffles the Hedgehog that was a great book and I did a whole thing about each time cleaning my teeth getting into my pyjamas, hot water bottle, blah, 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 that I could have four hours in the daytime and four hours at night. And that meant I could carry on going out every night, either going out or, or, or yeah. staying up and at least feeling like I had a life. And that just is so much better. And in a funny sort of way, it's probably saved me from my worst natures because I've spent for the better part of 20 years hardly drinking. Wow. But you, you kind of manage it at weekends, you can... Oh yes, I manage oh, at weekends, yeah, yeah, it is, it is, so. I manage it at weekends. Yeah. That's a very good way, so what time do you usually sleep? Because I remember, because you used to do yoga, we used to do yeah. yoga, I used to do yoga. Yeah, yeah. 11 till 3 in the morning, 11 till, as in 11am till 3pm, so 3 in the afternoon. So I miss lunch, but that's good, because I really, I'm not the sort of person who can eat three meals a day unless I want to get vastly fat, which I once did. And I think I told you, four stone in three months, I'm very good at putting on You see, weight. I think bre breakfast, breakfast working can put pounds on because... If you're not careful. You, have to, you can eat, you can actually end up eating three breakfasts, can't you? Yeah.